Hi, happy Valentine's Day. If you don't have a Valentine this year, I will be your Valentine for a flat rate of five bucks an hour. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a bit of a pandemic going on at the moment right now. And that makes social holidays like Valentine's Day a little bit harder to feel good about because everyone's separated and isolated. Thankfully, the lovely people over at BuzzFeed took into account the fact that a lot of people might be alone this Valentine's Day, and they decided to release this. Create your perfect boyfriend or girlfriend using AI technology. Take this quiz and imagine a better future with no dating apps. So I thought we'd take a look at what the hell this is. Maybe to see what my hypothetical future soulmate is supposed to look like. Am I nervous? I don't know. <laughs> Sick of dating annoying, needy humans? Wish you could just design your perfect lover already? Well, now you can. With BuzzFeed Labs' extremely scientific BFGAN69. A 69 joke? Artificial intelligence. Just answer a few simple questions and we'll help you generate the partner of your dreams. First, let's make sure you're a grown up. I'm under 18, I'm 18 or over. Yeah, I'm 21. What age is your ideal partner? Well, I mean, it would be ideal if I dated someone around my age, but I don't like how the one that includes that is 18 to 24. Because that is such a big age range, like what if it produces an AI person who looks 18? I don't want that. Fine, we'll go with the 18 to 24 age range, but I swear to God, better be 20 or over. What do you want from your partner? Mostly sex, no strings attached, a deep emotional partnership where we connect on a spiritual level and become soulmates, or someone who gets me so we can share inside jokes together. Honestly, I love inside jokes. I'd love to be a part of one someday. So we're gonna go with that. How would you like to pass the time with your AI lover? Whoa, hold on. I thought this was using AI to design a partner, not give me an AI partner. Am I about to date a robot? I feel like I've seen one or two movies about how that does not work out. But let's see what our options are. Sitting together quietly, feeling safe and comfortable. Staying up all night talking, laughing. Carpe our DM together? Living out my deepest sexual fantasies? I am no longer really on board with this quiz. Buzzfeed, what? What? Why? What and why? Why and what? Buzzfeed? Okay, the one that sounds most like me is the sitting together quietly, feeling safe and comfortable one, so we're gonna go with that. What power dynamic do you want in your relationship with your AI partner? I'm getting toxic vibes from this question. I want an egalitarian relationship where we support each other and accept each other as true equals. I want a partner who accepts that I'm the boss and submits to my desires and needs. My AI lover was created to serve me and they better take that responsibility seriously. I want to serve my AI lover's needs and fully submit to them, even if it means sacrificing my own happiness or alienating myself from friends and family? I'm not gonna lie to you, this question can be simplified. The three options you're actually choosing from are healthy relationship, toxic relationship, or simping. Okay, I know I should not be taking this seriously, it's a stupid BuzzFeed quiz, but like, for real. Do not go into a relationship with an ideal power dynamic in mind. That, that seems like, 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 like unhealthy shit. Uh, I'm gonna go with the first one because I believe that a relationship should be about give and take and supporting each other. Um, I don't want a power slave and I do not want to be a subservient simp, so... I can't believe part of their whole marketing dynamic is to every like once every four months do something really outrageous that turns a lot of heads and drives traffic to the website. And then for the next four months, just 
spoon feed them simplistic cookie cutter things that keeps the people there. So this quiz is most likely trying to bring people to BuzzFeed and then it's just going to give them like, which Riverdale character would you think uh, could do the best backflips types of articles until your brain falls out of your ear. What matters most to you? Looks matter. My partner needs to be hot. Sorry, not sorry. Who you are on the inside, that counts. Who you are on the inside, that counts. Who you are on the inside, that counts. Remember that. Finding someone entertaining, funny, and fun. I'm of the opinion that anybody can look hot and you shouldn't date someone solely because of their looks, so I'm going to be a, a good person and put down funny, entertaining, and fun. Well, my AI-generated lover is Sadie Y, who's 23. She's a Leo. She's originally from Boise, Idaho, and she's got a huge hole in her face. <laughs> is she okay? She says, hi, I'm an enthusiastic squishmallow collector, and I really love true crime. Hey, everybody loves squishmallows and true crime. Uh, I have over 100k in college debt. You know, it happens to the best of us. 100k is a lot, but you know, it, it happens. I'm sorry to hear that, Sadie Y. I want to go somewhere quiet and have a platonic relationship with you with you? Platonic? Did I just get friendzoned by my BuzzFeed AI-generated lover? Also, she kind of glitched with the with you, with you at the end there. Um, so I think she's broken. Uh, but there are other parts that tell me that too. Well, you heard it here first. My, my ideal partner is this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying, but I, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you, BuzzFeed, for telling me that this is my ideal partner. I would not have guessed that without you, so I guess I've learned something today. If you would like to take this quiz yourself, just go to BuzzFeed, do this. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to, but yeah. Well, happy Valentine's Day from me and Sadie to you. I hope you have a great fucking bye <laughs> thank you for watching this video to the very end i appreciate your support here are some more videos for you to watch from me and here are my social medias if you'd like to keep up with me outside of youtube jokes aside i really do hope you all have a very nice valentine's day do something special for yourself because you deserve it stay safe stay healthy love you lots goodbye